Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a backdoored version of Linux. Linux Mint is apparently a very popular Linux distribution. It's not one I personally use, but apparently it's one of the top three Linux distros out there, probably because it makes a very good client desktop environment. According to a blog post, bad guys hijacked the Linux Mint website last weekend, and more disturbingly, they actually created a link to a backdoored version of the Linux Mint distribution ISO file. This means if you downloaded this distribution within the past few days, I believe specifically on February 20th, you probably have a version that has a backdoor and you should not use it. This is actually a very concerning issue. If a bad guy actually hijacks a software distributor's network, they may be able to create Trojan versions of that actual software. In any case, if you're a Linux Mint user and you've downloaded the ISO in the past few days, you should not use it. I would get rid of it and download a a new ISO. And more specifically, use the MD5 or SHA checksums that the Linux Mint people provide to make sure you actually have a valid distribution. Now besides hijacking the website and backdooring the actual distribution, which really is the big news, do know that these attackers were also able to gain access to the forum's database. And they actually ran away with all the Linux Mint users, usernames, address, email, and even the hashed passwords. Long story short, if you're a Linux Mint user that's actually a member of the forum, these bad guys may have your email address, and depending on how Linux Mint actually stores their passwords, they may or may not be able to crack your password. So of course, if you are a Linux Mint forum user, be sure to change your credentials as soon as possible. Anyways, a very interesting story and kind of a nefarious way for bad guys to infiltrate more people. If you can actually victimize a software company, you can victimize all that company's customers as well. That's that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.